Okay, you're on. Slide it over here, baby. Hey, hey, hang on. Play. <laughs> Skippy the bush kangaroo. Skippy, Skippy, Skippy a friend of a true. <laughs> Hi. Welcome all in. Get the window right. There we go. You right? Just unplug it if you want, babe. Well, that's done. Hey Susan, hey Art Conklin, Joanne Jacobs, Deep in the Woods and S Adams. Welcome him to Australia themed um, trivia. <laughs> g'day, g'day everyone. Hey Kimberly. As you can see, the back wall's decorated. <laughs> hey Granny takes a trip. Hey Granny. That opening music was Skippy the Bush Kangaroo. From a TV show from when we were kids. Yummy Tim Tams. Uh, We've yeah. got other things also um, over there on a plate, so we'll show them later. <laughs> hey, Deb Debs. Thanks for coming to watch the Australian trivia, everyone. I, ha I must say it was fun putting it together, but it was a little bit hard because I wanted it to make sure that you will get the answers and that sort of thing. So we tried to make it a little bit easier with the questions. So hopefully we've succeeded. So hey, Gerald. We tried to do Aussie uh, geared for Americans. Mm. So if any Aussies come in, they might just flog you. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> for Aussies, these questions tonight will be super easy. But it might actually come down to the fastest Googler. If, if you're stuck on a question, it might come down to the fastest Googler. So we'll just have to play it by ear and see how we go. Yeah, we don't mind if you use Google no. tonight, especially. We don't mind any time, but especially tonight. But they really are pretty easy. I tried to keep it so general. That was at the Gold Coast last night, JJ. Um, we actually had a uh, our son's graduation, and when we were coming home... Hey, Pickerick. Hey, Pickerick. When we were coming home, we went and parked down the bottom of the road and you could see the uh, lightning far we, off in the distance. We went parking. We, we went parking. <laughs> but oh, I got some magnificent photos of um, the moon. The moon was really, really yeah, nice sorry last about that. night. <laughs> yeah, so late last night, we were right up the dark road in amongst all the, the fields picking gum, gum tree leaves. Gum tree leaves. <laughs> Hey, Michelle. Colette puts a lot of hard work into the back wall every week too, making a new theme for trivia. So I'm going to show you what's up here too. These are gum tree branches. We've got a kookaburra. Kookaburra is an Australian bird. Uh, we've got a koala over there. We've got Tim Tams up on, on the back. There's the flag, obviously. That's the Aussie flag. And we've got Tim Tams, Vegemite. Our photo from... Steve Irwin Zoo, Anzac Bif Biscuits, that was the Bicky's um, Australian New Zealand Army Corps, and a boomerang. We finally found that boomerang people were asking about. And another gum tree leaf up there. I think that's about it. And Hi, there's, Mark. There's some tea bags scattered amongst the branches. His graduation went really well. I'll have to um, put a montage of a video up for him and... Um, for our own sake of memories and for you guys also. Hey, Farron for pros, that means Deb's in here. Yeah. Hey, Tony Sue. Hey, Mark. Hey, Fish Steve. Tropic. TPG. Awesome, Steve Gumby. 
Um, and price. We got, we got fish fam, porch people. Awesome. And the price this week for trivia will be something a little bit different. A little bit different. Um, I don't know whether you'll be able to see, but I've um glued. Okay, oh, well, I haven't have glued. I, I stuck. That's it. our two dollar coin, our dollar coin, our fifty cent piece, our twenty cent piece, our ten cent coin, and our five cent coin. So that's every um, normal Australian coin there that we use every day. So I've just stuck sticky taped them onto um, one of our cards and the prize will be that and a sticker and some other odds and ends in, the, in a little bag. G'day, Matt. How you going, mate? Hey, Matt. Good evening to all. It'd be Tuesday night for you, Tuesday night trivia. But in actual fact, it's Wednesday morning for us, <laughs> uh, mid-morning, just before lunch here about 20 to 11 Wednesday morning but then it comes in at $3.75 um, deep in the woods <laughs> yes we do use paper notes um, but well, they're, they're, they're made of a polymer plastic now um, yeah I should have a look in my purse yeah, we don't have notes <laughs> I'll just quickly go and see if I can have a look Excuse me for a minute. yeah our lowest our lowest note is $5 note and we've got a 10 a 20 a 50 and a 100 and that's it that's all our notes um years ago when i was a kid too we used to have two cent coins and one cent coins um but they did away with them about 20 years ago so our lowest coin now is the five cent one yeah a lot of our um paper money deep in woods has got pretty colors through it they redesigned them a little while back and um they made them out of that polymer plastic and they got the um, the clear panel in them too and supposed to make them a lot harder to uh, to make in people's garages, I guess. I don't know. Um, but they're supposed to be a lot safer and more secure and more durable and all that sort of stuff. Yeah, we're feeling heaps better. We had a bit of a stomach bug go through through the week, but it's good now. Eric, I'm so proud of you all. I can't say it enough. Excellent. Good to see you in here, Eric. Eric, I've been going around and seeing his live stream this last week a, a little bit it's early hours of the morning for us that's one of the reasons i'm so tired this morning actually um and pick a rip too i'll go to his live stream there's heaps of awesome channels in here if you just want to sub up to each other and show some support do that while you're while you're in here that's more than welcome if you just want to do that we still have the one cent but there's been talk of getting rid of it oh do you actually have a one cent coin there uh conklin i didn't know that yeah steve gumby we we do um, at least one giveaway prize every week. We try to do up a little pack from Australia. It's usually got um, Simple Joy stickers and a Simple Joy's pen and a little koala or a tiny Vegemite sampler, a few things like that just as a package from Australia. But it takes a, um, about eight, eight to 10 days to get from us to people in the USA. So you'll have to wait a little while for it to get there if you win. Don't have any sense, Tim, I believe that, mate. <laughs> We've actually got heaps of fun stuff here today. I brought lots of little things in to talk about Australia if you wanted to. Hey, Gerald. I really appreciate that shout out last night too, guys. Um, Pickerick and Eric. I really appreciate that heaps. I love people coming for trivia. We have lots of fun with it. Okay, a bit random, but I'll show this. <gasps> oh, it's come. Awesome. It. We just got a delivery. This works out really well, actually. You want to hold it while I try and squeeze yeah. in behind Probably it? Probably couldn't have timed that better. I'll move in. That's what all the dog, dogs were barking at there. It was a delivery oh. here. And I got uh, my purse. Wicked. <laughs> Hang on, catch me breath. I had to run down the paddock. I didn't. I knew the dogs were barking, but I didn't realise what was going on. There was, the courier must have come. Yes. Okay, so... Um, you know how all the families had been getting donations on the porch. Hang on, and catch my breath. <laughs> and um, we were. I'll, all... I'll, I'll keep going. Early when when the porch first started with their <clears throat> Christmas donations to give families a little bit of extra help on Christmas, we got nominated because um, we got a couple of younger boys, and one of our boys is really good on scooter. Just been falling apart, and we couldn't afford to get him the year bit one that he wants. So that's 
just turned up um, the porch people contributed money and gave to a Christmas fund for us and um, we've actually bought him his scooter okay so that's so just turned up it's a secret because he doesn't know don't tell him don't tell him <laughs> but it's all still wrapped but that's his scooter it's only just arrived Hang look on, how well it's wrapped look if i hold it up this way you can just see the picture of the skateboard dude i don't know if you can it's a bit hard to see yeah so that's awesome Awesome, awesome. Um, but it's a really, really good scooter. Top of the line scooter for him. Um, and if you go back through our videos, you can see him in the skate park. Our youngest Farron, he's just natural. He's got natural ability. He's really good physically. He can yep. do front flips, back flips, and that sort of thing just on the ground by himself. And he's starting to try and do that sort of thing on the scooter. Okay, so we're talking about money before I ran away. <laughs> Hi, Chad. Yeah, um, he's going to be so excited. Oh, you, you just have no idea. He's um he's been really pushing it for the last month, um, asking me about if he'd be able to get a scooter for Christmas, and I said maybe for his birthday, which is a, a few months after. I said we just can't afford it yet, um, and I said look, just put it out to the universe. If you want to have a prayer, have a prayer, or if you want to just ask the universe and and let it know, just say you want you want a scooter and um, just see what happens. Yeah, and uh, you wouldn't believe it not long after I said that to him people on the porch nominated us Yeah, well it was on special also our uh, Conklin's and um, I didn't want to Not get it while it was on special because um when it's not on special. It's something like three hundred and fifty dollars So while it was on special, I thought I'm gonna grab that Yeah. <sighs> okay, and so now the majority of um, the money we got to help towards Christmas went towards that and then that allows us to use other money towards the other kids. Yeah. So it, it works out so good. And thank you, everyone who helped with that. And now speaking, this you mentioned about the plastic money that we have in our notes. Yeah, well, I think it's called polymer plastic that's, or something like that. But anyway. That's our um, notes. It's all, they're all plastic. And we haven't paid rent yet, so we can show you every note. <laughs> so that's oh, haven't you got a 20? No, that's the only one I'm missing. I no. haven't got a 29. 20 is my favourite. They're really bright. They're like um, a real, uh, real lovely orange. No, I don't have a 20. Thank you, Tony. So, yeah, it's that's why we've been so keen to help out and support. Paid it forward a lot too. We contributed little bits back and um, helped where we could on the porch too to show our appreciation. And Dorothy, I saw Dorothy mention that, hi, oh, I just got my package the other day. My daughter took the koala. <laughs> Thank you for the prize uh -huh. at Simple Joys. You're, You're very, very welcome, welcome, Dorothy. I'm glad it got there. It's a bit of a journey for things to get to the USA all the way from Australia. I know. So we're always happy to hear that our packages make it to the people they're intended for. Yes, yeah, so our $20 is the yeah, most Yeah, I'd, I'd say so. That's, that's why I haven't got it. I would have had one at the shop and I broke it, so... Well, every time you go to the shop, it's about 20 bucks. Once you grab a couple of bottles of milk, a loaf of bread and, you know, something little, a um, packet of biscuits and, and that sort of thing, there's your 20 bucks yeah. gone, really. No, I haven't yet. TPK app, TPG. Um, no, not yet, TPG. That's like, we've got, when did we post all those cards off? Must have been Wednesday last week. They're, they should be starting to arrive there too. Um, Unless it takes three weeks and they get there the day before Christmas. We've got new people in here tonight too. I don't think you've met Eric. Eric, I've been going to his live streams really late at night yeah, while you're sleeping. I saw that he posted that his wife um, isn't using the app. Her name is uh, Elsie or Elise? Elise. Elise. Um, most other people I think have been in here before. You've met Pickerick. Um, a lot of familiar faces. Thank you everyone for coming in. For anyone who hasn't been to our trivia before, we'll have a good chat first and catch up and then we'll get into the trivia after we've caught up a little bit and had a chat with people. Yeah. Um, the weather here too is going to be really hot this weekend. Um, we but we've got the pool set up. But because we've, we've had some rain the last few days, what happens is the sun comes out and sucks all yeah. the moisture out and everything is just so sweltering hot. It feels like the rain gives us relief and then and the sun comes out and tries to take it back. So that's when we get the humidity. Yes, you can make a quick uh, cup yeah, of tea, Yeah, make a cup Kimberly. of tea, Kimberly. Go for it. 
um, I was wondering what that spread was in the it envelope. It was everywhere. It was everywhere. Really? Oh, did no, it bust did open? It bust. That was um, Vegemite. That shouldn't have busted. They might have been a bit rough with your little envelope. Yeah, that's the first time we've heard that fish tropic. Sorry about yeah, that. Sorry about that. Um, that the yeah, I wouldn't like to see that busted open and spread everywhere because mm. that Vegemite. There's a jar of it up on the wall there. Um, that way, we're normal. There. Yeah, <laughs> it's not reversed. Um, so it? the Vegemite is a real thick black spread. So if you had anything like that spread around in the envelope, that's what it was. Sorry about that. Itari mess. In our packages we send away because Vegemite's a really iconic Australian spread. Well, he was one of the ones um, that took so much longer to get there also. Yeah. It did. It took like two three. and a half weeks, three yeah. weeks. Do we do stockings? Um, yes and no. It all depends. Uh, when, not, when we were kids, we used to get stockings but it sort of died out over the last generation hasn't it they what? may have but not without damaging the envelope uh, fish tropics i don't know i think some families might still do the stockings and they just put little things in them like out of the cheap shops yeah the cheap shops. little stocking fillers not now i think the only really stockings you get are pre-packaged ones from the stores that already got lollies and stuff in them you spend maybe five bucks for a, a little Prepackaged plastic stocking that's got all lollies, just cheap lollies. Oh, candy. We call candy lollies. Yeah, I brought a packet too. So. Um. So yeah, the. It's five ten bucks and they're full of candy and they're just plastic on cardboard basically. So you still get that sort of thing, but um, as far as like the real Santa stockings, sometimes we used to hang pillowcases. Did you ever do that as a kid? Pillowcases for Christmas. I used to sell the pillowcases with Santa on them that you put stuff in. Oh, we just had real pillowcases. No, we had Santa stuff on them. No worries, Chad. He's got to go take care of his kiddo. Okay, um, no worries, Chad. Thanks, mate, for popping in. Pick Rick asked, what do you put Vegemite on? Put it on toast or you can cook with it. Um, sandwiches, mainly. We used to get sent to school with Vegemite sandwiches a lot when I was a kid. But the best way to have Vegemite, I reckon, is just a light light spread on toast. I can send you some Picaric. If you want to get hold of us, um, either on Twitter or the Simple Joys Facebook page, just send us a private message either way, Rick, and um, I'll make sure I send you a, a little, just one of them little tiny, it's like a sampler pack. I'll send you a little Vegemite and you can see what you reckon, mate. Hey, Laura. Uh, look, Lois or Louise. Louise. Lois Ann. Lois Ann. I always get that. I must, because your your auntie is called Lois. So I should Hello, all these that. familiar names too. I'm seeing. Thank you so much, people, for watching our videos and leaving comments. Really appreciate that support. It's awesome, and I love interacting with you. So thank you for that. Yeah, I've got an auntie, Lois. We call her Lois, but she's really short. I can send you out another one, but I'll double bag it this time. Fish Tropics, but. By the looks of it, anything in a small package will take about three weeks to get there. So yeah, I don't know why that is in the states. I don't know. When we send the um, like the parcel packages, we spend a bit extra and get the the bigger envelope with the bubble wrap and that sort of thing. That's what we normally send, and that takes about eight to ten days. I'll but write it down. It seems when we send envelopes, they take two to three weeks. So I don't know what's different, but something seems to be a bit different. Whether it's a different system with them in the US, and it takes a lot longer. And obviously they're a bit rougher with them too if they've squashed that. And uh, I've still got your details, Fish Tropics, so it's no drama. And um, pick Rick if you just want to try and get hold of us on Twitter or our Simple Joys Facebook page. Leave a message with your address and we can send something out to you. That is the first time we've heard that though. So maybe something like the envelope fell on the ground in the post office and someone, someone stood on it. it. Yeah, I reckon that might have happened. Anyone who missed the music when you came in, let's give that another rip. You have to backspace one. Yeah. <laughs> That'll be something different. Is it? Yep. You sure now? Sounds like nothing. Yes, uh, the grocery store. Uh, 
Um, tip, uh, trailer park guy, I'm not sure what sort of candies you have there to be able to say, I want to try this. <laughs> If well, you, if the you only want to send us a candy or something, just pick whatever. There's a wobble board. We'll try it on um, camera and show our reaction. You guys ever heard of wobble board? There's an old Australian stockman lying dying. I don't know where anything is on this. on the one elbow and he says, with mates who are gathered around and he says, <laughs> watch me wallabies feed, mate. Watch, watch me wallabies feed. They're a dangerous breed, mate. So watch, watch me while the bees feed all together now. Tie me kangaroo down, sport. Tie me kangaroo down. Tie me kangaroo down, sport. Tie me kangaroo down all together now. <laughs> you can't sing it without saying all together now. <laughs> uh, I don't know whether you would have ever heard that song. That was probably big in the 70s here. And the guy that sang that used to use a wobble board, and that was a big novelty back then, eh? Cinnamon red hot candies. Never heard of a Mark Conklin. Um, a wobble board, for those of you who have never heard that term, he used to have like a big square, really thin piece of timber, and he'd grab either side in his hands and just go back and forwards, and when it bows, it goes whoop, 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 whoop. And he used to use that with a beat. Yep. Mate, whoop, 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 whoop. You got one. <laughs> well, I haven't got a wobble board. Oh, you got something similar. I looked around the yard and I couldn't find a normal piece big enough. Basically, the bigger the board, the bigger the whoop, like a whoop, 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 real slow. And the smaller the board, the tighter and the smaller the sound, like whoop, 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 whoop. Um, Tootsie Rolls or some gems? No, TPG. And um, we do have Dr Pepper, but... It's very rare to get hold of. It's only in certain shops. It's not a big market thing. Right, so this is just like a little road sign I had laying around the yard. Ugh. I'll move out the way. So just grab each end in your palms. You can use anything for this, anything really thin. This is metal, this one, so it's going to be a different sound. <laughs> See how you get a noise out of things like that? Again, this one's really can small. I do it to a beat? Can't because it's not big enough. <laughs> With the big ones, you can do it slow. I'll have to go really fast like a rat. It's too small, so it's, it's going to be way too fast. <laughs> but there's a trick for you at home if you can find a big thin board or bit of metal do it a bit slower and you'll get a heaps better beat out of I it no sorry to anybody who's got earbuds in <laughs> <laughs> so that's what ralph harris used to use in his songs and he used to use that heaps he even did a cover of stairway to heaven with it <laughs> yeah um we sh should have cut up the a bit of ply or something it was too thick it's got to be like masonite, real thin board. <laughs> Heavy metal level board, yeah. That's what ACDC used to use that one. <laughs> they had electric bagpipes and heavy metal wobble boards. <laughs> Sorry about that. Anyone with speak um earphones in? Need more cowboy out. Need more cowbell. The door's opening. Oh, is Kitty still in here or no, did he get out? No, I let him out. Kitty came in to say hello before. Okay, we might get into it, eh? Or wanna do you want to start the trivia? Or I'll show um, this over here. Oh, my goodness. Oh, what have you got over there? I got, oh, I've got a couple of things, actually. We've got treats everywhere today. Okay, this, before I cut it. Again, if people haven't seen trivia here before, we do a different theme every week. Last week was America, and this week our theme's Australia. This is called a Lamington. It's a cake, but it's covered um, in dipped in chocolate, chocolate um, topping, and it's covered and rolled in coconut. And I'll cut it open. And the traditional ones, yes, well, this one hasn't, but traditional Lamingtons have got a line of jam or what is called jelly across the centre. So they have a line of jam in the centre, sponge cake, and then chocolate with coconut. It's very yummy, very yeah. yummy. Hi Deborah. Hey Deb. Okay, that's what it looks like. It's young. I love some. 
Hi, Meredith. Hey, Meredith, thanks for coming in. Mm -mm. It is yummy. It's better when it's got a bit of um, jam or jelly in the middle. So that was a lemon lemington. I've got some on my lips. And because of the sponge cake, it makes it really hard to eat fast or talk while you're eating. And then, next on our list, that's what we call a meat pie. But this is a meat pie with peas. We went, we went, we opted for the peas. Hey, Sid's Angel, Debbie Davis, thanks for coming in. <laughs> we haven't started on the trivia yet. We've just been chatting about a few Aussie things. Well, that looks disgusting. <laughs> it looks yummy. I can't wait to eat it. I think pie with peas is probably more of a UK thing. Um, but Australia came from the UK anyway, so we've still got a lot of UK influence. They call them pot pies. We just call them meat pies. That's why we still got the Union Jack in the corner of our flag. That's a normal size flag in the background here. It's huge. It's a massive big flag I've got pinned on the back wall. And then... Oh, I didn't know you bought one of them. Oh, yeah. They're Bowen mangoes. That's a mango. Yeah, we're... Um, especially our state, Queensland, is a subtropical state. So we get all the tropical fruit, um, mangoes bananas so that's our bowen mango it, they uh, we call oh, it smells pawpaw, delicious. but i think you might call them papayas all of that sort of stuff is just run of the mill everyday fruit around here pineapples we get heaps of pineapples and um, when we go for a drive to australia zoo it's about an hour away when we drive up there there's just miles and miles of pineapples We have Wassing Matilda and then Advance Australia Fair. Someone's been Googling. <laughs> well done, uh, Conklin. But um, it's the it's uh, Wassing Matilda isn't a national anthem. Though. Yeah, but he's, he's sort of right. A lot of people reckon Wassing Matilda should be a national anthem. The official national anthem is Advance Australia Fair, and a lot of people don't actually really know all the words. I don't need them. Um. And then while sing Matilda is more like a folk song, but yeah, it's so popular that it may, it may as well be our national anthem. <laughs> so Advance Australia Fair is very rigid and Advance Australia Fair. And um while sing Matilda is Walsing Matilda, Walsing Matilda, you'll come a Walsing Matilda with me. <laughs> so Walsing Matilda sounds more Australian, it's more relaxed. Yeah. Okay, we might get into it, eh? Aye, aye, aye. You already said everything she'd been studying about. <laughs> <laughs> All righty, let's do these trivia questions. Okay. For anyone who hasn't been before, we normally ask about 30 trivia questions, but we'll break it up a little bit with a bit of bit of a bit of butter 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 and a bit of butter butter boot and a bit of butter butter boot a bit of butter butter boot yeah we'll break it up with a bit of chat um a few smiles along the way hopefully and we'll try and do it in groups of five or ten questions and we ask about 30 questions all up yeah just if you know the answer or you think you know or you want to have a guess just type it straight in anyone's welcome to have a go um correct spelling doesn't matter but try not to abbreviate too much yeah and the first person in on our screen will give a point to, and whoever's got the most points at the end will send a package from Australia. So let's go. We're only doing the first one in this time, hey? We're not doing all three? Or? Yeah, I think because it's Australian this week, um, we might be hard-pressed to get three people all in at once every time. Yeah. So this week we'll just do it how we used to do, just first person in. Okay. Question number one for Australian trivia. Capital city of Australia. She is a Sheila. She's my Sheila. You keep your <laughs> eyes off my Sheila, mate. Yeah, you was talking about deep, deep in the woods. Hey? Deep in the woods is a Sheila. Yeah, she is. She I is. thought you were talking about my Sheila. And he's a top bloke. Oh, thanks, love. <laughs> Kimberly's in with Canberra. Hey, do you reckon I should use this Australian accent all the way through? <laughs> I mean, I've got an Australian accent anyway, but I can make it thicker if I try. 
it was Canberra. Canberra is the capital city of Australia. Yeah, I'll put that first because it tricks most people. Most people think Sydney because yeah. that's what gets the most publicity around the world. Um, but Sydney is not our capital. No. Um, it's in a different state altogether. Canberra is. <laughs> okay, question number two. <clears throat> Which famous Australian died of a stingray wound in 2006? If you don't get, get this one, you just need a good slap upside the head. No worries, Meredith. <laughs> Which a famous Australian died of a stingray wound in 2006? I can't think of another Australian that has ever died of a stingray wound, let alone a famous one. And Sid's angel got it with Irwin. Of course it was. Our hero, Mr. Steve Irwin. There he is up there, actually. Yeah. Right there. On the wall. Crikey. Okay. If you watch our videos, you'll see his influence in my life. Um, a lot of our videos revolve around animals and rescue and wildlife, so. And we're only um, an hour and 45 minutes away from Australia yeah. Zoo. Okay. How many stars are on the Australian flag? And the whole flag in the background know, is not even in the picture, so they can't covered. count. Many, I'll give you as a clue. It's between three and seven. How many stars are on, are on the Australian flag? Kimberly's been Googling. Well All done, right. Kimberly. Six. That's right. Six stars. It's six stars. The Southern Cross is on the – that's a star constellation. And I think we only get that in the Southern Hemisphere, the Southern Cross. And the stars represent? And then the other star on the bottom underneath the Union Jack has got six points and that represents each state because Australia's only got six states. Yeah. Okay. A koala, next question, number four. A koala can sleep up to how many hours a day? So this is at the top end. This is the maximum they sleep a day. How many hours can a koala sleep a day? John Jacobs Ooh, got close. 20. Kimberly's close. No one's actually hit it yet. I mean, they could sleep all of these hours that we're talking about. Depends how sleepy they are. Deep in the woods. Deep in the woods got it. They were after 22. That's. It takes a while for their food because they uh, survive mainly on eucalyptus well, leaves. A lot of their energy is used up in digestion because yeah. eucalyptus leaves, nothing else can really eat eucalyptus leaves like that. Eucalyptus are really really strong leaf mm -hmm. anyone who's used eucalyptus oil knows that you can use eucalyptus oil for getting stickers off um, you can put it in a vapor and use it for inhaling it's really good for your lungs they do it in um cleaning stuff too they get the smell yeah. of eucalyptus just put your arm on that okay what is okay num have you tried them to eat them you can't eat eucalyptus you, leaves you can't eat them but or, you can, or koalas for that matter because they eat eucalyptus leaves even can, if they weren't protected you can break it open and that and you can smell oh, it smells incredible eucalyptus. so strong these ones here i'll pick one off up a bit to release the smell too bad we don't have smell vision yeah i could i could oh that's so strong here I, smell it <laughs> I could stew that down and get the oil out of it and be able to do some really oils. strong oil and that's why nothing can eat koalas either um, the indigenous people of the land the Australian Aboriginals they couldn't eat um, koalas either and I have had a koala that was ripped open by a dog and came to grief and the, the smell of the eucalyptus oil of the from the insides of the koala was so strong. What bits vapor up, yeah. 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 <laughs> send some oh we can't send that sort of thing. I don't think that will pass quarantine. That's what we have to be careful of what we send overseas because we've got really strict quarantine rules. Oh uh, no, could you put a leaf in? Australia is really I strict with so. um, vegetation and I know coming in, I don't know about going out. I think it would be the same going out. I don't know what other countries are like, but Australia is super strict on, because we're an island continent too, like things don't just come over the borders. We're surrounded by ocean. 
Um, so they're really strict on things coming in to Australia because once it's here, it's here. Yeah. Okay, number five. We'll keep moving on. What is the national flower emblem of Australia? What is the national flower emblem of Australia? Hi, Daya. It's the bugs they're worried about. <clears throat> Um, yeah, they're worried about heaps of stuff, bugs, like um, different types of fruit flies and insects and all that sort of thing, but bacteria and fungal type things too, funguses that grow, can wipe out whole industries. Like if the banana industry gets a fungus that uh, affects the bananas, then that really cripples a big part of the, well, our state anyway. Okay, Deep in the Woods got it with wattle. She's put wattle. Very close. <laughs> it's called a wattle, a golden wattle. Okay, do you want to do this last, the next five? Yep. This is called a fast five. Okay, so these ones should be a bit easier again. Is ready to get typing. I'll give you just a couple of minutes to catch up. If anyone is having trouble with lag, oh, look at those. I just noticed those gum leaves up above me on the flag. They look beautiful. I love gum trees. Anyway, um, if anyone's having a bit of trouble with lag, just hit your refresh button. That's the circle with the arrow on it. If you hit that tab, it'll refresh the whole stream. Or if you're on a um, desktop, what is it? F what? F5. F5. We'll do the same thing. Okay, so I'll give you a minute to do that. Picture plant. What's a picture plant? Eucalyptus. Oh, we're still guessing. <laughs> okay, number six. All righty. What is the highest grossing Australian movie? So which movie has made the most in the box office from Australia? Remember, they're easy ones. Oh, Contenez, it said Paul Hogan. It has got Paul Hogan in it. He said that before you answered, put the question in. Oh, did he? <laughs> yeah. Mad Max, no, Tim. Trailer Park Guy got it with Crocodile. Uh, with Crocodile Dundee, yes. Yes, TPG got it. That was a good guess though, Mad Max. Um, the very first Mad Max, back then it probably wasn't enough to make it. Um, but Mad Max was probably one of the biggest first early Australian movies. Yeah, but Crocodile uh, Dundee was yeah, the correct it answer. It was Crocodile Dundee. Number seven, <laughs> what is a baby koala known as? So what do you call a baby koala? A little hint, it's the same thing that a little kangaroo is called. Oh, that's too much of a hint. That's easy. <laughs> hey, I'm helping. <laughs> All right. The USA players have got an inside helper. <laughs> it's the same thing that a baby kangaroo is called. Trailer park guy got it with Joey. Yeah, Joey. Kimberly was just behind him. Tim's world, JJ. Heaps of correct answers in there. Well done, everyone. Thanks for my help. <laughs> and um, just like a kangaroo as well, the um, koalas have got a pouch. They're part of the marsupial family, so they've got pouches they carry their young in. And they're so cute, the baby koalas. Yeah, they're gorgeous. Australian band sang Stayin' Alive. Ha, 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 stayin' alive, stayin' alive. Stand alive. Hey, stand alive. Which Australian band sang Stand Alive? Kimberly got it with Bee Gees. Kimberly just beat deep in the woods. The correct answer was Bee Gees. Yep. The Gibb brothers. Brian Gibb is where that name came from. B <laughs> BG, the Bee Gees. The B and G stood for Brian Gibb. He was um, the eldest brother, I think. Okay, no, which, uh, no, that's what I just asked. Yeah. Okay, number nine, who is Australia's current Prime Minister? Now, apparently, towards the start of the year, he had a phone conversation with Donald Trump that didn't go too well. So you might have heard his name then. I don't know if it made it to your news. The, med oh, the so. media tried to beat it up here a lot. I think so, because I thought I saw some um, YouTube videos. Hey, look at that. 
Yeah. Deep in the woods got Turnbull. Yeah. Lady Gaga. <laughs> Deep in the woods got it right. It's Malcolm Turnbull. Um, because there was some people on YouTube throwing off at him because he's such an idiot. What no <laughs> politicians? <laughs> And for number 10, the last question in the fast five, what famous building in Australia has the initials S-O-H? Better think about this one. I'll give you as a clue. The building is used for theatre, um, big music events, and, it's and in, opera. And it's in Sydney. Oh, that's too easy. <laughs> You've got the Australian <laughs> Insider helping you again. <laughs> Kimberly got it with uh, Sydney Opera House. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well done, Kimberly. Hey, I'm in yeah. to hell. <laughs> That's the one that was um, the architects designed it with big arcs and it's all like the top of a cockatoo looking yeah. thing. Where I always thought it was in the shape of like yeah, it is a really weird shape deep in the of the sails of a boat, but um, apparently it's to do with clouds and birds' wings and that sort of thing. Are you lost audio? Can you hear us? <laughs> Come on. I'm only joking. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to redo it in 2020. What are they doing? The Sydney Opera House. They Thanks can't so. redo it. Redo it. Okay, moving on. I think they should just paint it green. By the way, during this short interval, has anybody seen our beautiful Simple Joys coffee cups? The best way to enjoy your morning coffee. Got a bug on the bottom of it because of the acoustics. Okay, question 11. What is the massive rock formation, Uluru, in the Northern Territory, Territory also known as? So what's the other name for Uluru? The big rock in the middle of Australia that sticks out of the ground. I read it, Kimberly. Deep in the woods got it with Ayers Rock. Bang, straight up there. Awesome, deep in the woods. Oh, who guessed Billabambi? That's a different Ooh. sort of answer. <laughs> that sounds like an old Aboriginal name, doesn't it? Billabambi? Mm. Well, the correct answer was Ayers Rock. I think, I think there was a couple of people actually studied for it this I week. I so. It looks like it, doesn't it? <laughs> <clears throat> Number 12. Which large mythical creature from Aboriginal mythology is said to lurk in swamps, billabongs, and creeks? It's a mythical Aboriginal creature. I want to see how many people guess Yowie. Right now they're typing it in and they're going, oh, it's not. <laughs> Unicorn. <laughs> no, they ride unicorns deep in the woods. <laughs> No, it's Loch Ness Monster, Cyclops, Sasquatch. <laughs> it starts with a B. Hey, Deb Debs. And it's not Bigfoot. And it's not Bigfoot. Welcome back, Debs. Hey, Diophidelia, welcome. I don't know if I welcomed you <laughs> early, Diophidelia. Okay, you're going to have to give a hint. Or Diophidelia? Oh, all right. Um, B, U, N are the first three letters. It's a six-letter word, and the first three letters are B, U, N. It's um, a creature that mainly was supposed to live in billabongs, which are water holes. Trailer Park guy's got Beauty and the Beast on his mind. He's saying Beast. <laughs> Beauty and the beast. We might have to scrap that one. Unless someone's a quick Googler. Bunny, bunny. Ah, Kimberly had a quick Google. Kimberly Google. Yes, it's a bunyip. 
Yip, 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 bun yip, 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 bun yip. When our kids were in primary school or what you call elementary school in America, um, they'd take a bus trip out and the teachers organised for one of the other teachers to dress up as a bunyip and come out of the bush. <laughs> so when our kids come home when they're really little, they reckon we saw a bunyip. Bunyip. Uh, yeah, when the kids are little, uh, um, we still have fun with them about all these mythical creatures. And drop bears. Drop bears are scary. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, number 13. What is the name of the world's longest reef? It's the world's biggest marine national park. The world's longest reef, and it's in Australia. Arconcon's got barrier. Deep in the woods, got Great Barrier Reef. Great Barrier. Oh, uh, I reckon we'll give it to Art Conklin. Okay, he's on the board. Seeing as how he's not on the board yet, eh? <laughs> the correct answer is the Great Barrier Reef. It Which is. We... It is the world's largest marine national park, and protected. And it's also the world's longest reef. And um, it's scary how quick it's dying. The coral is actually being killed all the time from water temperatures oh, sorry, rising. Sorry, dropped my pen. What did we watch? Documentary did we watch? Coral. If any of you like watching documentaries and you're interested in that sort of stuff, I know there's some fish fam in here too that would probably really enjoy it. Chasing coral. Yeah, it's called Chasing Coral. Yeah. And um, it, on one hand, it's, it's really sad. Um, to see how much devastation is happening around the world with coral. Um, but it is interesting. If any of you get a chance and you like that sort of thing, check out that movie. Yeah. Um, you can find it on YouTube. We did. It's also on Netflix, I think, too. But it's it's a really Kimberly good... Kimberly saw it. Yeah, it's, it's unbelievable. I cried at the end of it. Okay, number 14. Well, I think it's time for a hat change. <laughs> This trivia proudly brought to you by kangaroos. All right, what hat do you reckon, people? Quizmaster? Yes, yeah, your Quizmaster, Joker, Jester hat. All right, here's the Quizmaster. <clears throat> okay, number 14. In Aussie slang, what is the meaning of hard yakka? Hard, hard yakka, hard yakka. Used to be on an ad too. It's a really popular saying, hard yakka. They also do pant brands also. Hard yeah, yakka. they turned it into a brand. They branded it and um, people who do cl some cl a specific type of clothing used it in their ads. Hard yakka. Work. That's right, uh, Conklin's. Hard work. Hard work. Yep. The yakka means work. Uh, Conklin's coming back on the board. He's just caught up with TPG. Is that 15 questions? Um, I'm about to do the 15th. Okay, we'll do, <laughs> do the 15th question and then we'll do a quick tally. Oh, stretching my back. Ah, TPG gets liquor, hard liquor. <laughs> you know, do you know how Australians hold that liquor? By the ears. Hi, New Jersey. <laughs> <laughs> okay, number 15. Australian band sung TNT. Because she's TNT. Oi, oi, TNT. Oi, she's dynamite. TNT. And I win that fight. TNT. Watch me explode. Bang. Down, down, down. ACDC. Our Coughlin's got it with ACDC. Akadaka. Yeah, um, when I was growing up, we always nicknamed them Akadaka. Hi, Scarborough. Hey, Scarborough Sasquatch. You just missed a question <laughs> on Bunyip's uh, Sasquatch. That was in your field of knowledge. Yeah. <laughs> 
Okay, you can do the next one. Um, the bunyip is one of Australia's mythical creatures that's supposed to lurk in the bush around waterholes. You just missed that one. So you're up to here. Yep. And we've just asked 15 questions. That's okay, Deborah. It's just about having fun. Um, we'll use this chance now while we're halfway. If anyone wants to grab a drink, go to the toilet, brush their teeth, ring their mum, <laughs> I don't know, whatever you want to do. <laughs> Have a quick shower. Do you feel them dirty? <laughs> Our Conklin's got the last one. Um, JJ? So, yeah, for people who haven't been to our trivia before, we, we ask 30 questions and everyone's free to jump in and have a go at answering. Well, that would say if you're at the toilet, you could brush and drink out of the yeah, toilet. I'd, DPK. I'd brush your teeth afterwards. Don't get a it mixed up. <laughs> okay, this is what you're playing for, for trivia. For trivia, first prize winner, we're going to send away this um, on the front, it's a Simple Joys card. It's one of the cards out of our merchandise shop. And it's flipped around. This if any of you haven't ever noticed that before, sorry, I'm going to talk over Colette for a minute. If you haven't noticed that before in our header on our channel page. You won't that, be able to read it because it's that back, picture, to, back to front. Um, it says family, animals, memories, inspiration, love, and YouTube. And all those letters spell family again. Okay. Yeah. Now, what's inside? But because... Um, in the background if I flip the flag around it would wouldn't be the right way so everything's flipped in reverse today which is normal for us but it's weird for the writing being in reverse <laughs> is normal for me okay so inside we have a two dollar coin two dollar a one dollar one dollar a 50 cent piece 50 cents 20 cent piece 20 cent a 10 cent piece 10 cent. and a five cent five piece. Cent. That's all our coin currency. The five cent has an echidna on it. The 10 cent has a lyre bird on it. The 20 cent has a platypus on it. The 50 cent has the coat of arms on it. The dollar has kangaroos on it. And the $2 coin has, what's it got, baby? Aboriginal. Aboriginals, awesome. Yeah, so you'll receive one of them. A magnet. Ooh, oh, look, that sticks, sticks because of the money. It sticks because of the money. Wow. Uh, a key ring. A key ring. Oh, it didn't stick that key well. Ring. If we send you that boomerang key ring, you got to send it back because they come back to us. I won't do that one. No, you don't. And a little Vegemite, but we're going to have to wrap that Vegemite. Maybe. And a sticker. Hey, Cheryl. Okay, so if any of you think there's a lag in a bit, if you want to refresh the stream by hitting the little circle with the arrow or F5 on your keyboard, yeah. Uh, refresh and start the stream over again. Make sure you're all ready to go for the next 15 questions. Hey, Cheryl, thanks for coming in. All these wonderful, awesome supporters that watch our videos and leave comments are also here for the live stream. Thank you so much, guys. Really appreciate it. So it's it. just something little, like the money only comes to $3.75. It's just something different. So you won't be able to go on holiday with it. <laughs> um, but yeah, we will this time, JJ. Cool. That would that'd be something different for people to have a look at. And the Queen's head is on the back because the Queen is, we're still under the monarchy. With, um, what do they call it? The Commonwealth. <laughs> um, so Australia is still part of the Commonwealth. We never broke from that. Even though we're very much an independent country and we've got our own government and everything. Um, you know, technically, she's still the head of state. Hey, Gina. Glad you're home, Cheryl. Just try and take it easy. Alrighty, let's get into these next Everybody questions. Everybody back oh, from did we want a quick, break. Did we want a quick tally oh. so far? Because the first person in, the first person that comes up on our screen for the answers gets a point. So here's a quick tally of the points. Okay, Kimberly is sitting on five, Deep in the Woods on four, R. Conklin on three, TPG on two, and Sid's Angel on one. And, of course, that's just people who have made it in first. There's been lots of people with the right answers yeah. and everyone's doing really good with participating. Thank you very much. You're all so clever and no one heaps of Australian trivia. Let's get into the next slide. Everybody back from toilet break? Ooh, <laughs> in Austin, Texas. Are you still Saturday on Saturday night screen? fever tour. I can't see whether you're... Yeah, just watch your own. My computer chair is coming apart and the arm on it he is did. all exposed metal. 
He did pat it, but it's fallen off. So I can easily cut my belly open on it if I move too <laughs> close to it. Hey, hey Captain Spicy. Okay, so we're all ready. Number Always six. having fun, mate. <laughs> Number 16. What Australian animal survives almost exclusively on eucalyptus leaves? This one's easy. Super easy. There's one behind Colette's head. Maybe head this way, baby. No, this way. This way. Gotcha. <laughs> Nearly hit <laughs> butter. But he's in the tree. Yeah, we should be getting Look, heaps tickle of... Tickle, 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 tickle. Uh, Conklin came in on our screen first, just ahead of Deep in the Woods, then Trailer Park Guy, Kimberly, John Jacobs, Lower Sands there, Guala, Steve Gumby, Michelle, New Jersey. Guala. No, New Jersey said kangaroo. Yeah, koalas eat the eucalyptus leaves up in the trees and um, kangaroos eat grass in the fields. <laughs> Okay, we'll keep going. So, correct answer was koala. Koala. Which burn is oh, which burn? Which burn? Which burn? Which <laughs> sunburn? Uh, second degree. Okay. <laughs> which bird is known as the merry king of the bush, and he is the largest in the kingfisher family? And its song goes. Kookaburra sits in the No, you yeah, hold on the answer in the first. <laughs> <laughs> merry, merry, merry of oh, the bushes, he yeah. laughed. Kookaburra laughed. <laughs> Deep in the woods was already at type of Merry <laughs> old king of the bushes, he. So, laugh. What sort of bird is it? Uh, here's the song. Kookaburra <laughs> sits in the old gum tree. <laughs> merry, merry, merry of the bushes, he. <laughs> Uh, they call He's him in the, a tree too. They call him the Merry King. Pull him out. They call him the Merry King because this is the sound a kookaburra makes. Ah, remember your bill. Yeah, a kookaburra, not a crow. You think I was going to do a crow? No, I was going to say, don't be too loud. Oh. You, they got ear <laughs> That's how, that's the call that the kookaburra makes. It's like a laugh. Kookaburra sits in the old gum tree. Put him back in the tree. Laugh, kookaburra laugh. Merry old king of the bush is he. He's going to fall now. Okay. He's, no, it he's wasn't Big Bird. <laughs> <laughs> Repeat that, Grant. <laughs> I think they're also called the laughing jackass or something yeah, like that. Yeah. And they normally, I don't know whether, we normally hear them, they normally sing out if there's lots what of. sound? Uh, if there's lots of rain coming and the old wise, what is the old wise tale? If there's a kookaburra sitting on your uh, washing line, means that somebody is pregnant. That's the old wives' tale. That's the old wives' tale. Thanks, Susan. Have you heard of kookaburra before? Are you Australian or <laughs> have you just heard them? Is there any Australians in here out of interest? Flying fox. Yeah, we have heaps of flying foxes here. That's a big bat. They're called, they're a fruit bat. Um, <laughs> they, I think they're the largest bat, one of the macro bats, the flying fox. And um, they live in huge colonies and they just hang out upside down in trees. Um, through the day, and overnight they go and feed on fruit everywhere, and they're massive colonies. Okay. Really big fox, but they carry Elizabeth. We get them in the back tree. If you hadn't guessed, I like useless trivia myself. <laughs> okay, which number 18? Which Australian singer had a hit song called Let's Get Physical? Physical. I want to hear your body talk. Let's get physical, physical. She also starred in Greece. Hopelessly devoted to you. Deep in the woods got Olivia Newton-John. Well, I really thought Olivia Trailer Park Guy would have got that. Under. Uh, okay, yeah, I thought he'd be up there. Loves the musicals. <laughs> 
Olivia Newton John. Okay. Hopelessly devoted to you. Number 19. Which two animals feature on the Australian coat of arms? Uh, see, now this is why I didn't tell you exactly what was on the 50 cent piece earlier. <laughs> Which two animals feature on the coat, Australian coat of arms? I'll give you a clue. There's two animals, two, one, two, and there's one on either side of the coat of arms holding up the shield. Deep in the woods got it with oh, look at that. and emu. Wow. Very good. We're getting heaps of people coming in with good they, guesses. They've been studying really yeah, it well. Looks like it, eh? <laughs> These are impressing me. Wow. And they reckon the reason they use them on the coat of arms is because those two animals are unable to walk backwards. Um, the kangaroo can't walk backwards. Obviously, it's got that big tail in the way. And for some reason, the emu can't walk backwards. And that's the third largest bird in the world, I think, the emu. Yeah. And it's a flightless bird. It can't fly. But apparently, it can't walk backwards either. So that was supposed to represent Australia always moving forward, can't walk backwards. And we eat both of them. We do too. We're the we only do. country <laughs> that eats the animals. It'd be sort of like Americans eating... Mm. Um, but... Or Russians eating bears. They yeah. might, I don't know. But I've never had an emu. I think bears eat people more than people eat bears. Have you ever <laughs> have you ever eaten emu? Uh, no, I haven't tried no. emu. I would though. I'd like a big emu drumstick. <laughs> <laughs> Might have to look at the, into that, but yeah, I We have eaten that, kangaroo. Yeah, we, we eat kangaroo. We actually got um um footage of it <laughs> in the face. I got glitz and bald eagles taste like chicken. <laughs> Okay. I said, boy, I said, boy, I ain't no chicken, boy. There's your chicken over there. And he points to the dog. I love that episode of. Um... Yes, uh, Trailer Park Guy, we have eaten kangaroo. We do, um, in winter, we do a nice, um, what we call roost stew. So it's got kangaroo mints in it. I would imagine everyone in here is sub to us too, but if you're not sub to us, make sure you sub up or hit the bell so you get notifications when we do live streams or trivia or for our wonderful videos. <laughs> <laughs> and also, yeah, sub up amongst yourselves and show the support and love with each other. That's awesome. Yeah, kangaroo meat is really yeah. lean. Yeah, it's a really lean meat, no fat. Yeah. All right, time for a hat change while you ask the next question. <laughs> Put a little bounce in your step up, on Clan, you reckon? <laughs> Roo stew, kangaroo stew. Uh, Number 20. There we go, g'day, Cobber. <laughs> Ooh, I don't, don't no. know. I never heard about anybody eating an echidna. I, I guess at least afterwards you'd have toothpicks for the meal, wouldn't you? <laughs> <laughs> um, echidnas are covered in quills or spines. Yeah. Echidnas are a little bit like a porcupine, but much smaller. What season is Christmas celebrated in the summer hemisphere? Lula? Lula? What season is Christmas celebrated in the southern hemisphere? So what summer... Uh, oh, my I goodness. Did it again. I am sorry. Yeah, but just read the questions <laughs> and the answers straight after it. <laughs> what season? I meant to say, what season are we in now? Ah, Conklin got it. Anyway, oh. look, they were typing it in before I said hey, it. Hey, can you tell me what season is summer? <laughs> <laughs> I meant to say season and summer came out. <clears throat> yes, so we're in summer now. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I just, I'm just helping. <laughs> is it summer maybe? <laughs> I think you're right now, Conklin. Good, good guess, mate. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> yeah, so we're in summer. <laughs> oh. I know, I'm sorry. Uh, Don't you love it? She <laughs> makes me laugh. 
okay <laughs> i'm not going to do it anymore now <laughs> okay 21 what date is australia day 26th of january <laughs> i wanted to do it too <laughs> Oh, look, you're making my eyes water. If you can do it, I can do it. Can anyone tell me what date is the 26th of January? <laughs> <laughs> That's right, January the 26th. Without, without him saying that, would have you guessed it? <laughs> okay, what date is Australia Day? The 26th of January. Oh, see you later, JJ, Jojo. Your husband is gay. Have you guys ever heard such an awesome comment? Wow. <laughs> Saying to a woman your husband is gay. That makes so much sense, Jojo. Well done. You get a special award for intelligence. <laughs> Some people just aren't very... Yeah, one wife and four kids later, I think I might be gay. <laughs> I've got nothing against gay people at all. We voted yes for gay marriage. Which uh, has just been passed, actually. Saying I'm gay, uh, the first clue might be that you called me her husband. <laughs> <laughs> Not very intelligent. Well, no one ever said you have to be intelligent to be a troll, did they? No. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Jojo, yes, Jojo. I got him, jo J <laughs> JJ. Okay. So, without him giving the answer of the 26th of January, what have you got it? I don't know. Just ignore the troll. He's gone. <laughs> what is a dingo? Ooh. What is a dingo? No. <laughs> Take a walk on the wild side. I said, hey, babe. Is it buffering for everybody? Yes, it is a dog, but it's a Pacific specific type of dog. It's a wild dog, but we'll take a dog. Okay, our Conklin's first in line, I think. Yep. If anyone is interested in seeing dingoes, um, we captured some nice footage last time we went to Australia Zoo. Yeah. Of two dingoes playing around together. It was really nice. I'd never seen that. And like he was he was being a little poop, wasn't he? He was stirring the yeah, other I'd love to play with dingoes. Stirring I love the dogs. dingo. Yeah, we don't have wolves in Australia. There's no wolves at all. But um the dingo is our wild dog. I gotta love pythons. Hey, gonna love pythons. I was hoping you'd be here from the start. You should have cleaned up with Australian questions. <laughs> you might still win from here on in. Well, look out, look out, people. You've got an Aussie amongst you now. Aussie in now. Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. Oi, oi, oi. Aussie. Oi. Aussie. Oi. Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. Oi, oi, oi. <laughs> okay, number 23. What is the capital of Queensland? Gotta love pythons is actually gotta get this one or else it'd be rather embarrassing. <laughs> what is the capital of Queensland? Uh, if anyone has just come in, never played trivia before with us. Deep in the woods got it with Brisbane. We do prizes every single week. We send a package away for the winner. And to win, all you have to do is keep guessing, and the first one to come up on our screen with the correct answer gets a point. At the end of the night, excuse me, at the excuse end of the you? night, well, well, it's daytime for us, but nighttime for Tuesday in America. At the end of the night, whoever's got the most points wins and gets a package from Australia. Awesome. Okay, so the correct answer was Brisbane. Oh, her speed's not that great. Oh, okay, got a love. Well, I hope you enjoy it anyway, watching. That's Aussie internet for you. Yeah. <laughs> Brisbane. Okay. Love you, Brisbane. You mean the world to me. From the wide open spaces to the coastal places. 
Okay. Question number 24. And she got first on her screen, not on our screen. Yeah, nearly everyone gets first on their own screen. That's the way it goes. <laughs> number 24. How long is the coastline of Australia? Now, nobody's well, going to get this one. And I put it in miles for him, didn't I? Yeah. 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 Okay, we'll take the nearest rounded down number, of course. How long is the coastline of Australia? <clears throat> so the coastline is all the outer the outer edge of Australia where the ocean meets. To give you a clue, America's coastline is 1,200 miles. 22 miles. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, so it's in between 10,000 miles and 20,000 miles. Kimberly got it, she Googled. 16,000 miles. It's actually 16,006 miles around the coastline of Australia. <coughs> and the coastline of America is 12,000 something. So Deep in the Woods just came in un under Kimberly. Yeah. So it's 16,006 miles. Yeah, not 1,200, JJ, 12,000. 12,000. So, so it's 16,000. Yeah, yeah, that's not a typo. That's 12,000 miles around Australia. 16,000. I mean, <laughs> but Welcome back. 12,000 around life. America. That's just the coastline because America's got the inland border for Canada and that. Yeah. So our coastline's a bit bigger because of that. Huge. <laughs> Five trillion miles. That's better. Deep <laughs> in the woods. Yeah, very huge. Okay, number 25. I know. He, he, Did I? Yeah, I corrected him, JJ. Sorry. <laughs> I'm the one with the answers in front of me. <laughs> oh, no. I went down the rabbit hole after Googling that. I went into the largest countries, the largest oh, no. populations, it's the largest so, coastlines. It's so easy to get lost once you start looking things up. Excellent, Twister. Uh, 2,600. That was around Ayers Rock. <laughs> <laughs> okay, number 25. What is a drongo? Someone who says 1,200 miles. Yes. <laughs> What is a drongo? Well, we've got both what it really is and the slang meaning of what it is. What is a drongo? <clears throat> no, it's not an instrument. It's not a drum, not a flute, not a bat, not a cat. This is starting to sound like a Dr. Zeus book. <laughs> a drongo is not a drum. It yeah, is not drongo. a bat. It is not a cat. You spelt it right. Yes. All right. And Twister, Twister got, got it. Bird. And yes, and, and correct. And Conklin's got idiot. It's both. Yeah, but the correct answer is it's a bird, but a drongo is also known yeah. as an idiot. Um, we'll take the first answer, bird, by Twisted. Twister. Yep. And the slang, Aussie slang, is idiot. If if you're a drongo, you bloody drongo. <laughs> so. Okay, you can do the next lot if you like. Okay. I think because I struggle with that word. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to say it wrong, eh? No. Okay, number 26. 26. What is a quandong? Quandong. Quandong. <laughs> Q-U-A-N-D-O-N-G. Quandong. What is a quandong? A quandong. That's right, Mark. You're not a drongo tonight or ever. <laughs> oh, even Gotta Love Carpet Pythons doesn't know this. You need to spell it. Q-U-A-N-D-O-N-G. Pickerick got it with fruit. That's yes, right, it's Rick. a fruit. Well done, mate. I have never eaten one. Colette had never heard of it. She asked me the question and I got it right. Um, but I actually used to do horticulture 
Um, years ago when I was young, I had jobs as a groundsman and I used to work for the council doing parks and gardens and that sort of thing. I worked with plants a lot when I was younger. Yeah, so it's a fruit and I've never eaten one. Okay, keep going. What are the three colours of the Australian Aboriginal flag? So it's not this flag behind us. That flag was introduced by the Europeans in Australia, but the Aboriginals, the Indigenous people of Australia, have their own flag. And what are the three colours on that flag? Nope. Ooh, yellow, white, and red. Nope. That was most of the way there. Yellow, white, and red. We should have brought it's one. It's got yellow and red, but there's a third colour. Got a lot of carpet, carpet pythons got it. It's black. Well, actually, she's got black orange. Close. It's pretty close. Well, the yellow does look orangey. Yeah. The correct colours are red, yeah, black, yellow. red, black and yellow, which is deep and woods has got it. So the yellow is a bit orangey. The, the yellow but, does look orangey. But it represents a sun, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yes. So. I don't think we've got a picture of the Aboriginal No, we here. should should have had one. Um, you find it everywhere on Google, though, if you want to mm -hmm. Google it. Yeah. There's also, um, we've got another flag too, which is this Torres Strait Islander flag, which is blue. Blue and white. N no, blue and green, I think, with the. Oh, I thought it was blue and white. It could be blue and green. Okay, don't. We're nearly there, people. We only got a couple of questions left on the trivia, and then we'll announce a winner for the night. I got it, R. Conklin. What are the three colours? We just did that one. Now we're up to question number 28. What is the common name of the Ooh. Ornithorhynchus? Ooh. Its actual scientific name is Ornithorhynchus anatinus. I fixed up the point, R. Conklin. R. Conklin got in before D from the Okay, waters. you might need a couple of clues for this one, although I don't think got to love pythons will need a clue, maybe. It is an animal. That's your first clue. Ornithorhynchus. What? Ornithorhynchus is its scientific name, Ornithorhynchus anatinus. But its real name that everyone knows it by is platypus. Deep in the woods got it. Deep it's in the woods got platypus. platypus. It's a platypus. That's the animal on the 20 cent coin. <clears throat> it's um, actually what they call a monotreme, which is a mammal that lays eggs. Very rare. There's only two monotremes in the world, platypus and echidna, and they both live in Australia. So they're mammals that lay eggs. <laughs> and the platypus is super special because it's also got a duck bill. It's a mammal. Yeah. And it's also got a poisonous spur. It has venom, Captain yeah. Spicy said. Yes. Yeah, that's right, yes. Captain Spicy, dead right. They've very got a lot of venom in their claw. Okay, day. So you're learning heaps about Australia, aren't you? <laughs> and having a laugh. Are you oh, in oh, screen, oh. baby? I think so. Oh, I just don't want to stab you with my chair. There we go. I'll just lean towards you there. Oh, super easy. What is the official language of Australia? Um, only at zoos deep in the woods we've only seen one. I've seen one wild. Oh, have you? When I, was I haven't. Yeah. Very Thank hard. You, Barry. Very hard to spot them in the wild. They're they're really reclusive, shy animal. So the last yes. question was, what is the official language of Australia? Deep in the woods again. And or then, what so, I like to call what I talk is gibberish. Gibberish. <laughs> Stop your jibber jabber, fool. <laughs> Aussie English. <laughs> We cut, we cut yeah, out. Yeah, we all have our variations, eh? There's American English, um, Aussie English, and then I think even the people in the UK don't speak old English, really. I know, Kimberly. Oh, no. Are you busy? You're doing other stuff. 
The official language of Australia was, of course, English. English, mate. <laughs> Mixed with a bit of slang. Um, a couple of generations ago, they used to use a lot of rhyming slang. Um, got a lot of Pythons. Uh, are you just using a uh, Wi-Fi or modem or something? Because you can plug your Ethernet into the back of your modem and run it to your computer, and that way you'll have both. That's what we do here for better speed. Yeah. Not much point for this trivia because there's only one question. Yeah, no, but, next but for time, next time, yeah. there's other ways to try and speed up your device. Yeah, we do. Hey, die for Delia. We all murder it. <laughs> Yeah. Who wants the last question? And it's going to be first in. You're going to have to be quick because it's a super easy one. I want you to all say it together and I want you to say it when you type it. Ready? <laughs> what was Steve Irwin's popular catchphrase? What was his most famous catchphrase? Of course, I'd love to finish on a question <laughs> from our hero again, Steve Irwin. Kimberly. Crikey, Kimberly, you got one. Crikey. <laughs> Kimberly got All right. Now, did you all say crikey? Crikey. Look yes. at that little beauty. <laughs> oh, she's a darling. Look at those beautiful little eyes on her. Crikey. Have you checked out the Sheila on my side? She's a ripper, mate. Bond's a beauty. Far crikey. So the correct oh, answer, answer was crikey. Crikey. Crikey, you wouldn't want to take a whack off one of them. <laughs> Kimberly, still saying it. Crikey. Okay, so overall scores. We've got Deep in the Woods with 10. R. Conklin with 8. Kimberly with 7. TPG with 2. Twister with 1. And Pickerick with 1. All right. So our first, win... first week on the board, Pickerick. Well done. Yeah. Same with Twisted. Sid, we've got a few people that haven't been on the board before. That's excellent. Welcome back, Chad. So the winner for this week's trivia is Steve in the Woods. <laughs> Crikey, that Sheila is aggro. <laughs> she can be. I you can wanna, be. You want to watch you don't make her aggro? Look, it's the quiet ones that you need to watch. <laughs> so Kim, uh, Deep in the Woods will be awesome. getting the coinage along with a few other little knickknacks. Now, the, they're not brand new or uncirculated or anything, Kimberly. They're just, uh, they're they're just straight, the out, straight out of our wallet. You said Kimberly. It's deep Did in I? the woods, yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm a bit doughy tonight. I'm a bit of a drum guy tonight, mate. Yeah. So, deep in the woods, we'll be getting the coinage. But they're not uncirculated. They're straight out of my purse. So, they've been in my purse. Yay! <laughs> awesome, awesome, awesome. <laughs> and thanks for everybody for participating. It was fun. I say that every week, but I do enjoy doing it. She has a ball putting putting together all the, the, I like the to backdrop and Get well, questions. I like to try and be a little bit creative, and this is what my way of being creative. <laughs> yeah, <look at> that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a brilliant uncirculated. I do have a special little... mint condition. I do. I do. <laughs> collect um, some special ones that come out that I put away for the boys as they get older. Well, the younger boys anyway. Yeah. Thanks, Deb Debs. JJ, Nakey, JJ knows his currency terminology. <laughs> <coughs> Never touched by human hands. Mm. Brilliant, uncirculated. Yeah. Bye, Captain Spicy. See ya. Catch you later, alligator. In a while, crocodile. But yeah, awesome. Congratulations, Deep in the Woods, and congratulations, Kimberly and uh, Conklin for second and third. Yeah, and everyone that had so many correct answers tonight. It was, yeah. it was really surprising how many people come in with correct answers yeah. for Australia. A lot of people I expected not to know many Australian questions. And like 
the Anzac and the Tim Tam and the Vegemite and you found the boomerang. See you, Michelle. See you, Michelle. Um, people were asking about boomerang last week. Oh, I'll give you a closer look at that one. You have to um, just ping, the bing. The, the tack just flew. The tack just flew off the wall. This is just a cheaper boomerang. It's not a traditional one. But it's still got some nice artwork on it. Awesome. I can't wait. Hopefully it arrives this week, Kimberly. Here we've got a lizard that'll be like a goanna. In the middle is a kangaroo. And on the other side, another goanna. You're welcome, our Conklins. So that's the basic shape of your boomerang. <laughs> Grant has. We used to have a didgeridoo. Um, women I used to have a beautiful one. Women aren't allowed to play the didgeridoo. Just traditionally, it's um, just Aboriginal tradition. The women don't play the didgeridoos. I can't play it because I don't have circu good circular breathing. I can play a tiny bit. I can get a noise out of it. Farron can play. Farron's really good at um, the trumpet and the trombone and anything that is when the instrument he can pick up and just play. Never heard of it, Kimberly. Mm. You haven't heard of Glitch? Yeah, bad mojo. What? You haven't heard of the series um, called Glitch? Um, it sounds vaguely familiar, but I can't place it, no. Yeah, I haven't. Thanks, Deb. Catch you later. <laughs> um, unless it's on Netflix. Kimberly, we don't watch it. <laughs> oh, we I rarely very watch. rarely ever watch normal free to air. Yeah. Mum watches it all the time. She's always asking us about TV shows or ads was, even. She watches all the commercials. It was actually funny. Um, Grant's mum, she's 76 this year. She come over and we sat her down and she watched some she's of our... She's never been on a computer. She watched some of our YouTubes and she said, oh, look, there's an ad from TV. <laughs> Because uh, on our um, YouTube one, one channel. One of our videos is monetized and an yes. ad came up. So an ad comes up and she was saying, oh, look, that, that why are you getting ads on your YouTube? Mm -hmm. And I said, well, this is the, like a new TV. <laughs> this, is, this is the future of TV. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's. Just gone up. I think it's sixteen dollars a month, but I'm about to. We're get, going to get rid of it. I'm going to get rid of it because we don't really watch it as often as we should. And it uses our data. It um, what did he say? It uses four gig for how many programs? Oh, a couple of hours. Probably about two three hours of um usage. So if Grant was to fall asleep with it on, which I have done, which he has done, it will use a shitload of internet what did you say i know i said that <laughs> S word. it uses a lot of internet no worries twister congrats on getting on the board this week twisted hopefully we'll see you next week hey a heads up everyone next week we already know what the theme is going to be yep it's christmas we're going to do christmas and next week will be our, be our final one before we the, have a little break yep. over christmas We'll stop doing trivia for a couple of weeks over Christmas while we got visitors here, and because um, we put a couple of days worth of sorting out for trivia, so we don't want to do that over Christmas. We're going to have a little break. We'll just have a couple of weeks off, and then we'll start trivia again in the new year. So next week we'll have a special Christmas edition trivia, and that'll be the last one for the year. So make sure you come to that one, everyone. Oh no, she didn't. Yeah, not often. Oh no, she didn't. Not often that you hear me say a naughty <laughs> word. <laughs> oh no, she didn't. <laughs> yeah, we might wrap it up. Well, the dogs are barking. I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, just talk for a minute. I'll see who's here. I never swore growing up. I would get into big trouble if I swore. Um, the only, I, even if I said the word bloody, I'd get into trouble. My parents were strict on swearing. <laughs> Night, Jay. 
right, Jay? We might wrap it up, baby. Yeah. Twelve right. o'clock. Yeah. There was a couple of things I was going to do today. I had some traditional, yeah, some traditional Australian poems, um, some traditional folklore songs from Australia. There's a few things, but we sort of run out of time. We had a lot of fun with trivia anyway, and I might even do a video through the week of doing those things. So keep an eye out for videos, guys. Through the week, we'll have some yeah. some more go up and hopefully finish off that pool area too. I just really wanted to emphasise again how much we appreciate everyone coming and joining us on these live streams. We love doing trivia with you, so thank you. So next week's Christmas, Christmas trivia, and then we'll see you on Around the Traps and then we'll um, do some videos. Thanks again for joining us. Thanks very much. And well done again, uh, Deep in the Woods. Bye. <laughs> love you. Bye.